Kashin, Aiko, Aiko told me she hoped you could grow up happily. Your life is only just beginning. I won't let you leave this world. Alrighty. We are back, baby, with more Tales of the Black Forest. This should be it. This should be the last episode. We're going to fight the vengeful spirit. And we're going to see what's really going on with Kiara Kashin. So make sure you like or dislike the video. Comment down below and subscribe for more. Let's hop right in. It's all blocked. It's all your fault. Suffer, repent. Monster with split lip, ugly woman, die. You killed the innocent people. Live your life in pain and remorse. Oh, I'm her right now. You can't kill me. They lied to you. They like a more beautiful and younger idol who would like a disfigured monster. Oh, Jesus. Sound came from the screening room. Claimed you took a break from the movies to train on your acting skill. This is just an excuse to hide your ex excesses. What? You lied to your fans and you don't truly love your fans. With the pain from lying to others and being lied to all this while. What the fuck is that thing? You don't come over here. Potion is behind me. Well, I didn't mean to wake you up. I'll never make those noises again. I'm going to announce my retirement from the music scene. Oi. I'm the person you were looking for. Huh? Oh, shit. I'm fucking pissed. Fuck, where am I going? Oh, 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 God. Damn it. So sketchy. Go, 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 oh. Oh, 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 go, 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 oh my god, this is, oh, 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 <laughs> it's so hard to control, oh my god, it's so fucking hard to control, uh, 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 go, 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 oh, fuck, Oh shit, this is so intense. Whoa! Megumi-san, hold my hand tightly. That was close. Fortunately, we came in time. Sorry, the ventral spirit disappeared after I led it to the doorway. Uh, it's okay, because I am ready. We just need to wait for it. Oh shit! Kiara-san! <sighs> the fuck? Kara-chan, why did we come to the roof of the building? If I remember correctly, Akaoni said before that the weeping rain could also corrode the yokai. Besides, did you know the vengeful spirit is always hanging around inside the theater? Its main entrance, entrance and windows don't have any of its negative energy. So I think the vengeful spirit is afraid of the weeping rain. I get it. You want to lure that vengeful spirit to the rooftop and destroy it with the weeping rain. Will it really take the bait? Still remember back at Shikanaki Village when we helped Tamasaki san escape from the wedding? I used the watch to evade the foxes that were chasing us. Yes. Wait a second, Kiara chan, you want to Hmm. I still have Megumi san's watch. I'll put it here first. Remember the time and then wear it again. I'll let that vengeful spirit catch me on purpose and activate Ninja the minute I get caught. Then I'll bring that vengeful spirit together with me to the rooftop. Sakurako san gave us the pearl that could protect us from the weeping rain's corrosive effects. And that vengeful spirit will be exposed to the weeping rain. Well, it's worth trying. Nice. Oh, shit. What the fuck is happening? Through the curtain of rain, the people who died from the gas attack seemed to be tearing the vengeful spirit apart. It howled. Finally. Disappeared above the theater together with the reaping, weeping rain. Reaping. 
with the weeping wing. Both the weeping rain and the vengeful spirit are gone. Oh shit, what's up? You got a fro? Ojusan. Woo, Ojusan. You could actually put it into the weeping rain and the vengeful spirit. Hell yeah, dude. I'm a fucking badass. Kiarsa, not only did you get rid of that vengeful spirit, but you also stopped the weeping rain, where it really can't express our gratitude. That vengeful spirit is gone. We don't need to hold any Hoshin ritual. How about organizing a concert celebration? Come on! Hey, who was the one who cried about leaving the music scene just now? How did you know? You yelled so loudly that everyone heard it, guy. Hmm. I only said that to confuse my enemy. You had no idea how dangerous it was. Thank God Megumi-san showed up. Otherwise, that vengeful spirit would have eaten me. Eaten my ass. Where is Megumi-san? You didn't see Megumi-san when we came up. Maybe her spirit moved on? <laughs> Yumi, did you see Megumi-san? Megumi-san disappeared already. Yep, she moved on. Sorry. Megumi-san never wanted anyone to know the truth. So I've been hiding it from you the whole time. Truth. Yumi, what is Megumi-san hiding? That vengeful spirit was formed from Megumi-san's soul. Yep, makes sense. Called it! Shortly after the gas attack three years ago, Megumi-san regretted it and blamed herself and committed suicide. She was so obsessed that it binded, it binded her soul and slowly swallowed her consciousness. In the end, her soul turned into that vengeful spirit. Before Megumi-san's last consciousness... Consciousness got swallowed up. Baku and I sent the restless spirit to sleep. We kept that consciousness in Megumi-san's watch. The Megumi-san you just saw was a dream Baku created from that consciousness. Now the vengeful spirit has finally disappeared and she has finally woken up from her long slumber. Should have noticed it earlier. Kara-san, no need to blame yourself. Megumi-san is quite grateful to you. Although Megumi-san enjoyed her time at the theater very much, she has always been bound by remorse. It is a form of redemption, and the best ending for her to help Kiara-san eliminate the vengeful spirit. I should be the one to thank her. I haven't had time to return her watch. Consider this watch as a token of appreciation from Megumi-san to you. Hell yeah, fucking Rolex. Mm, I will cherish it. Yeah, you see this bling? You see this bling I got? This watch? Goddamn. Fucking balling, baby. Fucking balling, baby. Gumi-san, you didn't tell Kiara-san the truth? I know Kiara-san is a very nice person. If she knew the truth, she would definitely cancel the plan. I'm already quite pleased with this result. Who's clapping? Gumi-san, everyone is celebrating now. You still have time to say goodbye to them. Everyone must be looking forward to your presence. No need, Yumi. In the past, I regarded the flowers and applause as if my life depended on it. I worked hard and trained on my acting skills. I thought I was dedicated, but in fact I was just scared. I was afraid to become a has-been, afraid to get overshadowed by new people, afraid to lose that love from the audience. The person I was back then loved that fame which was an illusion. So when I found out I got cheated, I lost myself and committed unpardonable crimes. Now I finally understand. Flowers and applause no longer belong to me. When I see everyone smile from the bottom of their hearts on the sidelines, I'm quite satisfied. Kiara-san, to be honest, I'm a bit envious of you. I envy you not because of your face or your popularity, but because of your heart. What I envy is your courage to love and your freedom to be loved. Nice. That was the third chapter, baby. So now we just got to find that black film tape and see what's on it. It's probably my car crash. You know what I mean? It's got to be what it is. By the way, I found a black film reel in the attic. I wonder if it's the one you're looking for. It is for sure. It's a black film reel. You can barely make out a pattern full of black feathers on the film reel's color cover. Oh, black feathers. <laughs> Oh, this should be the film I'm looking for. Uh, obtain the black film reel. Kiara-san, I've mentioned before that Baku can play any film, so you can look for us if you need to play the film. Thank you, Yumi.
A few wooden boxes and shit. All right. This is the projection room? The door of the projection room, which vanished earlier, has appeared again. So that projection room was sealed by some strong power. Only Hoshin could do it. But Hoshin died several years ago. Doesn't matter, Kiara-chan. We're only one step away from removing the curse. Projection room on the left could play the film, and the yokai ya on the right could also play the film. This is not an ordinary film reel. It might disappear once we use it, so... Hmm, I understand. We can only choose one of the two doors. Since the curse is rejected related to the projection room, maybe we can truly remove the curse if we use the projector to play the film. But I saw my memories in Megumi-san's memories because of Baku. Baku could help me find my lost memories. Hmm. No matter what you choose, I'm fine with it. Thank you, Kiritani. Game is automatically saved since this is a plot branch to make it convenient for you to enjoy the different endings. Your autosave will not be overwritten. Please save the game manually, manually at appropriate points after this. Some of the characters in the theater have new things to say to you. Once you open the door, you will enter the final chapter and may miss out on the things they will say to you. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to save... We're going to make save four that so that we know. Let's go talk to some people in the theater. See if anyone's around here that has anything to say. Wrap this up in a nice tight little bow. The yokai. I dropped that yokai no common somewhere. Hey stupid human, I'm right here. Huh? <laughs> How could you leave me behind? Sorry, it was an emergency. Never mind, I'm not blaming you. After all, you helped everyone put that vengeful spirit to rest. But why are you here? I was almost devoured by that vengeful spirit's negative energy. This guy saved me. Thank you. After the vengeful spirit disappeared, the ghosts from the Weeping Rain were also released. Aika-san came back here and disappeared after hearing this guy's performance. It's very grateful to you for setting Aika-san's soul free. Think nothing of it. Aika-san heard your wish. That's why she came back. You're a nice girl. I owe you one. If anyone bullies you in future, I will curse that person until he bleeds to death. <laughs> I fuck with that. No need for that. Thanks, though. Why are you leaving this place? Come back here whenever you're free. Hmm. Talk to the demon mask. Nice. Oh, hey, what's up, dog? Heard from Yumi that Megumi-san has gone on a tour to collect inspiration for her works. She was in such a hurry, we didn't have time to see her off. Speaking of which, I'm Megumi-san's fan. Not just me, but everyone in the theater knows about Megumi-san's past, too. We kept it from you and hoped she would forget the past completely. Meh. Anyway, I will try my best to manage this place while she well while she's away. Karasumi said, I'm sure you can manage the theater well. I believe the theater will soon be as exciting as it was in the past. Yep. Talk to this cat. Yumi said Megumi san has gone on a tour. I wonder when we can see her again, yeah? Karasan, I heard you found the prayer. Yes, but you probably don't need the prayer now. In fact, I've already translated the words in the script, so I want to compare the script I've translated with the one you found. Okay. He's like, I was way off. This one said like a bunch of slurs. Kumo-san, your translation only has a few sentences that are different from this translated text. Basically, they are quite similar. I owe it to you when you agreed to look for the translated script. Suddenly felt so relieved for some time and my, translations, my translation speed improved dramatically. This translated text is beautiful in its wording. It's a huge academic achievement. Human knowledge is so infinite. Looks like I'll have to work harder. Wait a second, this translated text... Yeah? Signed by Kasaku-san. Kasaku-san? Who the fuck is that? Kasaku-san is a renowned expert on folklore. 
is also a mentor I respect greatly. If not for him, I wouldn't have chosen the path to do research on folklore. Went on a field trip to Kuramori Town three years ago, but unfortunately the poison gas attack happened at the theater and he died in that attack. Can't believe I can actually see his translated text. Kira-san, thank you for finding this precious translation. Before this gas attack, Kasaku-san researched a lot on the history of Kuramori Town in Shikanaki Village. I'll try my best to reach Kasaku-san's level and finish his uncompleted research. Mm, I believe you can definitely make it, you... Yakum... whatever, son. Yakumo-san. By the way, Kahara-san, if you have any questions about the prayer or the history on Hoshin, just go ahead and ask me. I'll answer as best as I can. Okay. Yo, we're preparing for the concert to express our appreciation to Mugumi san and Kiara san and to mark the revival of the theater. Nice. Let's see what you got to say. I remember you. You're that human who abducted Tamasaki san. No need to be afraid. I won't capture you. It's great that Oju sama could obtain her freedom. Don't worry, with me around, the other foxes won't hurt you in this place. Let's talk to him one more time, I guess. What does a prayer mean? The script dates back to 80 years ago during the Taisho period. Shikanagi village prospered greatly from the coal mining industry. That's probably why the watermelons and everything grow so much, because of all the carbon. How many people believed in Hoshin back then? The villagers in Shikanagi village worshipped a deity called, called Aikosama. That prosperity didn't last long after the war broke out. Then were sent to the front line to fight. That's when Shikanaki village started to decline. The second world war ended, half of the men in the village had died surprisingly. Heaven's fire will rain like a thunderstorm. Cries of anguish will come like strong gusts of wind. Exactly how they would describe the battlefield. Hoshin Sama will manifest itself. Save the living from misery means those men would survive because Hoshin protected them. At a time when manpower is short, having a strong man and a family means the whole family could survive. It goes without saying that the faith in Hoshin expanded at an unstoppable rate in Shikanaki Village and eventually became the only faith in Shikanaki Village after replacing Aiko Sama completely. As for the second half of the passage, it's most likely, it's like most of the religious prayers. It describes how the villagers pray to Hoshin to bring favorable weather and drive away poverty and disaster. That's all I can tell about the prayer. Question on, never mind. All right. Let's go back up. There's no one up here. No, there's not. I would have seen him. Okay. Let's save it one more time. And I'm going in the right. This should be Baku, right? Yep. Blossoms and snowflakes. All right, I got to put my reading cap on. <laughs> Kara-san, are you here to play the film? Yes. Yumi Baku, I'll need to trouble the two of you. Kara-san, you did us a big favor. This is nothing. Stand here. Baku will send you to sleep first before he'll bring you into the film's world. First, close your eyes. Take a deep breath and relax slowly. Baku is connecting the film to your consciousness. Do you feel sleepy now? I'm like... Huh? Expected Kiarasan is brought to Kermori Town in her dream, Mo. All right, let's see what this is. This is what we've been waiting for. The fuck? Cold winter is coming. Japan's economy is facing a crisis. Please invest rationally. Warners were completely drowned out by the crazy speculative behavior. Land, we need more land. Let the tall buildings rise like the bamboo in spring. This is the best time, and there are unlimited opportunities. Harada Investment Company, your brokerage is open for a consultation. Shares continue to rise, and you are still waiting? Buy early and enjoy the early benefits. Fukuoka Investment Company is dedicated to providing you with the most professional financial services. There's a dog-eared page here. Uncover the canvas. Interesting. This paper has some graffiti on it. Papa took Mama and me to go for an outing together. The 
Looks like a group photo, but I can't see cl clearly under the dim lighting. And cover the canvas, yeah. The fuck? Door's locked. Effects. Karasan. Although the company has already developed a more effective growth compound than the water of abundance, biggest value in the wa watermelons at Shikanaki Mura is the brand and word of mouth. <laughs> nice. Company believes there is a real need to invest in the development of a factory in Shikanaki Mura. And even be said it can even be said to be urgent. In addition, the company is going to buy more land for real estate and tourism projects. This will also require Kiharsan to conduct a risk assessment further. Kiara's son's contributions to the company will be remembered well by all the staff in this company. That's probably about my dad. Facts. All the villagers in Shikanaki Mura believe in a god called Hoshin. And they think the land is a gift from the go that god, so they cannot develop the land. It will not be easy to convince them to build a factory in the village. However, the person in charge of the railway transport system in Shikanaki Mura, Matsuyama-san, supports a plan to build the factory. He will help me to persuade more villagers to support the factory's construction. Kiara Suichi. That's my dad, yeah. Diary with fine handwriting. Today is my birthday. Papa, Mama, and I took a family photo together. There's a cute rabbit sticker on the diary. Caution from today onwards. You will also have the house key. Please look after it well. Doors locked. The fuck? Papa, Mom, and I live in a small house. Door is locked. Ojuchan, follow your father and mother. Look at the camera. Where? Look at the camera. The camera is over here. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, I like line up with the portrait. That's cool. Door is locked. I live in a small house. Oh, there's the key. The key is up there. See around my neck over here? The key is hanging in front. Obtain the key to my home. Door is locked. Let's open the door. What the fuck? This is wild. Pretty cool, though. Oh, shit. Is this my house? I'm back. Old shoe cabinet. Rusty hanger. Demolition announcement. In order to build the reservoir, demolition works will be carried out in the Shikanaki Mura and the surrounding area by the end of this year. To avoid accidents, residents are asked to keep away from Shikanaki Mura. Dusty telephone using Ninja. No, let's look elsewhere. Calendar that has turned yellow. Let's Ninja this shit. This telephone can be used for Ninja. Karachan, you plan to use Ninja? I want to know exactly what happened at home before that car accident. Hey, Sichi. Any progress on the factory? We sealed the deal. Huh. Wonderful. Hoshin really listens to our prayers. In that case, you won't be that busy in future. The company is hoping that I could stay here for a while and evaluate other real estate projects. They also agreed that I should take a break. We can finally take caution to Hoka Hokkaido. She will be so excited she can't sleep. Mm. CG, what's wrong? Nothing. I guess I'm tired. Aiko, I'll spend more time with you and our kid from now on. Yeah, fucking right. You gonna die. It's like that time when you suddenly realized you wrote a wrong answer to a certain question after an exam is over. 
thought you were worrying too much over nothing. But reality would eventually develop from worries. In the end, it became an irrevocable tragedy. In the late 1990s, a bubble burst. Aiko, take caution with you and get out of here quickly. Aiko. Suchi, what happened? Project on the factory is canceled. Why? Stock market crashed and the company canceled most of its real estate projects. People in Shikanaki Village will hear the news soon. We can't stay here any longer. Ayako, you and Kashin will need to leave first. Bring your most important things with you and leave the rest aside. Here's the key to the car. I'll meet you at Ch Chikuo Station. Sichi, what about you? There are lots of vital internal documents in the study. I can't let them fall into other people's hands. I'll look for you when I have dealt with those documents. Um, Sichi... Take care. The fuck? Caution son, the company hopes that you can get rid of those project documents. We've transferred half the payment to your account. After it's done, you will also receive an extra payment besides the remaining half. The last sum of money, I made the biggest mistake of my life. Don't let this crook run away! Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna get my ass beat. Bastard, we spent all of our savings to invest in the factory. Now it's all gone. Take this crook and his family to offer his sacrifices to Hoshin. Damn, his family got away. The fuck is this guy? What are all of you doing? Chief, this crook kept talking about building a factory, but he conned all the villagers out of their savings. Several villagers have committed suicide because they went bankrupt. It's this crook's fault. Matsuyama, don't forget you're also the one who started it. Back then, you were the most vocal one when you talked about building that factory. Ooh, I signed that project contract, so I'm also responsible for that. Jingu-sama told us that the village needs to be united now. We have weathered times that were more difficult than this. This time, we can definitely weather it, too. I will hold a meeting with everyone to discuss our next step. Everyone just go back for today. The fuck, dude? Sorry. I didn't lie to all of you. I didn't anticipate any of these. Just leave. Jingu-sama wants you to leave. Besides, there was a car accident at the suburbs in Kuramori Town. It's your car. The fuck? How is my family? Your daughter is seriously injured. And doctors are rushing to save her now. How is... Ayako? When the villagers got there, the car was on fire. Your wife didn't manage to get out. Good God, dude. Jesus Christ. I specialize in e economics at the best university. Economic theory, analytical model. I could name them all. I believe I'm doing a respectable job. My knowledge, my brain could bring happiness to people. However, I'm just one of a million fanatics at that time. Couldn't even fulfill the wishes of my loved ones. Happiness should be treasured, but I threw it on the ground and allowed it to shatter. This is dark, I love it. Am I gonna kill myself? Oh, what the fuck? It's all your fault. All my savings are gone. Liar. This is the car crash. What you said happened before the accident? Is this my mom? Kiritani, why are you here? Kiara-chan, you're finally here. You can speak now? Curse is still there, so I still can't speak. You're just hearing the voice from my heart. Is this my mom? Is it because I didn't choose to play the film with the projector? Yes, the curse could only be lifted when the film is played on the projector. 
You don't need to blame yourself because I told you that no matter what you choose, I will support you. But to be honest, I hoped you wouldn't regain these memories. These memories are too heavy for you. Shikanaki Village declined because of my father. It was fated to be a tragedy. Your father and the villagers in Shikanaki Village were the fanatics in that era. They were also the victims at that time. What? Kiritani, who are you and why are you here? How did you know all these? It's my mom, I know it. I promised you that I would tell you the truth when everything is over. This truth started from the distant past. What the fuck? This is going to be a longer episode. I just feel it. <laughs> this is Ghost Train? Ghost Train is a product of one's consciousness. It connects the memories between now and the past. We can look for the truth hidden in the past through the train. One hundred years ago, a girl was born in a mining family at Shikanaki Village. This girl is Hoshin's reincarnation. She already possessed unusual powers as a child. Those powers didn't bring her status or honor. On the contrary, those powers made her suffer from loneliness and misery for a hundred years. Yikes. Who the fuck is that? Sekasan. Sekatasan. You look listless today. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I'm about to go to a distant place. <laughs> Second, second Sen. Where are you going? War has begun. This car is common. Deared to transport soldiers to the front line. Oju-san, live your life well and stick with it until the war is over. Hmm. It's her. Huh? Huh? She's the yokai my papa is talking about. Oh, they're kids. Never mind. Ma says already in 30s. She looks so young because she sucks human lives. I, I'm not a yokai. Filthy yokai. Get out of the village and do not come back again. Hey, you little bastards. Oh, uh, what? This yokai practices black magic. Your son, it's all right now. Second son, thank you. Kids nowadays are really impolite, Oju son. Don't take it to heart. Mm. Second son, son, I'll pray for you until you come back. Huh, I will definitely come back. Still waiting to hear your stories about the outside world. Your stories are fascinating. You might even become a famous writer like Natsumi Sokusuke. I'm just winging it on these names now. I'm just saying shit. After the war erupted, all the men in Shikanaki Village went to the front line. The village was threatened with famine and death for some time. The God of Abundance, with the God of Abundance's powers, the girls saved many villagers from the crisis. Faith in the God of Abundance gradually became prominent in Shikanaki Village. The girl was honored as a Jingu by the villagers. No, no, no. I want to read this. Emperor Japan issued the Imperial Rescript to announce an unconditional surrender. Okay. These are soldiers. Jingusama is here. Jingusama, please accept our gratitude. Huh? Eh? Um, where is Sekatan san? Sekatan san? He lives in the railway wagon. Wagon? He lives in the railway wagon in Shikanaki Village. Where is that wagon? The wagon was bombed by enemies when it took us to the front line. Bombing rained like fire, destroying the bridge as the wagon was moving across. All the people on the wagon fell into the river. Just when we thought we were going to die from drowning, an invisible force pulled us to the bank. Those who worshipped Hoshin, Hoshin didn't drown. The other soldiers drowned in the river. Hoshin-sama protected us. He saved us. Hoshin-sama gave us the chance to kill our enemies. We will always believe in Hoshin-sama. 
they were cheering as loud as the wind. Jingle, Jingu looked at all those devout f followers helplessly. She was pushed to the pedestal and revered by the masses. Ever she became more lonely than ever. Yikes. Yikes. Deities can't step into the affairs of humans too much. This rule is, na is natural. Jingu broke the rule. She used the God of Abundance's powers to bring so many benefits to Shikanaki Village. Crops grew really fast. Really fast. There's a price to pay in order to get a deity's favor. A living human would need to be sacrificed each year on the Hoshin ritual. Back in that era, many pe old people volunteered to give their lives. The Shikanaki village developed an at an amazing speed after the war. Eleven people sacrificed their lives during that period. <sighs> Yikes. Damn, look at these fucking melons, dude. Big ass melons. The watermelons this year look so good, people are going to love it. Check whether the watermelons are ripe before everyone comes. One of them's gonna be like hollow or some shit. Where are people voice, people's voices from the watermelon? Hey, I heard Jingu Sama's already in her 80s. She still looks like a 10 year old girl. Haven't you heard? She sucks human lives to stay young. Is there such a thing? People dare not go near, near Jingu Sama or their life might be sucked. Dude, I'm gonna tell you something. I'll suck your life out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People's voices from the watermelon. Heard our neighbor wants to give up farming. Tell me about it. The stock market is so profitable now. Hey, do you think Hoshin could help us predict on stocks? Idiot. Hoshin isn't capable of anything except getting watermelons to grow quickly. People's voices from in the watermelon. Sears Hoshin ritual is around the corner. Village headman said no one is volunteering to be the sacrifice. People lead comfortable lives now. There are no diseases or disasters. Who would want to sacrifice themselves? It's true. It's pretty fucked. Oh shit. Who are you? Ah, oh, Ojisan, sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. This mask is covering my eyes. I didn't notice Oni-san. It's alright. By the way, you need to eat more spinach, Oni-san. What? You look weak. Even a kid like me could knock you down. Mama said eating spinach will help me grow stronger. You don't fall down so easily if you're healthy. And thank you for your concern. I will eat more spinach. What are you doing? Is this her mom? Inkusama, I'm so sorry. My child didn't mean to offend you. Doesn't matter, she just bumped into me by accident. It's good for kids to be active. Oh my, this kid would actually bump into jingu -sama. I'm really sorry about that. Mm, it's nothing, don't worry about it. You're so forgiving. Suddenly remember I have errands to run, jingu -sama. Please excuse us. Mm. They're terrified of me now because I've been, you know, killing him. Jingu understood it from the woman's flustered expression. Villagers never stopped fearing her. This kind of fear accompanied Jingu to the pedestal, and it became awe. This is crazy. Just when Jingu thought she would be alone forever, someone entered her world. Is it me? Or is it my mom? Might be my mom. Yep. You here is really nice. Hmm. Excuse me, I'm new here. Can you tell me how to get to Shikanaki Village? Go straight ahead and walk through the forest, then cross a wooden bridge and you'll be there. Hmm, thank you. Why are you going to Shikanaki Village? My husband is making an inspection at Shikanaki Village, but he forgot to take his bento. I'm delivering it to him. This man takes his work very seriously, but when it comes to his personal life, he's always so absent-minded. Doesn't even eat my put. I'm just kidding. Right, this onigiri is a specialty for my hometown. I made too many. I'll share some with you. You should try it. Tastes great. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, eat up, bitch. Sobbing. <laughs> uh, are you alright? Did you have an argument with your family? It's fine, take your time. I still have a lot of onigiri. And you cried all over that one, so I'm not gonna take that one. I don't want your weird tears on him, okay? Weird bitch. Ha, I thought you wouldn't come today. Huh? You been waiting for me? Mm, I also brought delicious onigiri today. How is it? Mmm, yummy. I'll be here every day until my husband's work is complete. <gasps> Thank you. You know, you remind me of my daughter. She's several years younger than you. My biggest wish is to see her to grow is to see her grow up happily. I don't know what you've been through, but if it happened to my daughter, I'd be so sad. So you don't need to thank me. It's what parents should do. May I know what your husband is doing at Shikanaki Village? He's an investment consultant. Company wants to build a food processing factory at Shikanaki Village, and he is in charge of assessing the risk. Heard a lot of villagers are against that plan to build the factory, so it's quite difficult for him to convince the villagers. Maybe you could pray at the Hoshin ritual. Hoshin would answer a lot of prayers. Perhaps he will be touched by your sincerity and make that plan for the factory go more smoothly. I remember my husband mentioned Hoshin before, but I'm not a follower of Hoshin. Will my prayers still work? Hoshin likes those who are truly sincere, even if you're not a follower. As long as you pray wholeheartedly, he will definitely help. Dolphinately. And then, ah, uh, then I'll give it a shot. Alright, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Kihara Ay Ayako. My name is... Kiratani Yuki. And just like that, I lied to your mom. And then we were best friends, all based off a lie. She didn't know that I made people kill themselves. Jingu lied to Ay Ayako. Jingu made up the name Kiratani Yuki. Jingu had already forgotten her own name a long time ago. Besides, God of Abundance wouldn't confer his mighty power so easily. Jingu decided to help Ayako in her own way. Yep, this is going to be a, probably an hour-long episode. Jingu-sama, what are you doing in such a place? This is a good place to watch a movie. If you want to see a movie, I can get someone to arrange that. It's damp and dark here. What if you get injured? Want, 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 Watanabe, relax. God, I fucking almost threw up trying to say that name. By the way, come over here and check this out. Huh? Watanabe, what do you see? Um, I see a movie and I haven't, and I have seen that before. What else? Jingu Sama, forgive me, I can't see anything besides that. Do you see those villagers who are watching the film? Ah, yeah. They look happy, right? I remember when the real estate developer wanted to build the theater at Shikanaki Village. The previous village headman opposed it strongly. In the end, the theater is built at Kuramori Town. Now the villagers have to go to Kuramori Town every time they want to see a movie. Jingu Sama. Watanabe, I know you and some of the villagers have objected to the factory. But once the factory is built, the villagers could find stable jobs and increase their income. What's more, I feel my body aging already. But you look like you're six. How come? Started quite some time ago, I think my health is getting worse, and my memory is not as good as before. Even that yokai I met during my childhood, he is my only friend, but I can't remember his name now. I don't know if I can still watch over this village for much longer. I heard that company could make the fruits grow better and let the villagers become richer. Isn't that what I've been doing all the time? Jingu-sama. Anabi, I watched you grow up. <laughs> it must be odd to hear me say this. Not at all, Jingu-sama. I always respect you. Thank you, Watanabe. I trusted you the most, so please reconsider on the factory. Damn. The tangled webs we weave. Jingu is a gentle and kind person. She never realized that her kindness would lead to a tragedy. Oh no. I came upon Ay Ayako. 
Ayako, however you say her fucking name. Ayako! Kiritani, I can't move. Can you help me take Kashin out? Take her to a safe place. Yes, Ayako, I'll come back soon to save you. Although Jingu looked young, her body was as old as a 70 year old person. It's not that. It's not that old. She used up all her strength to save Kiara chan. Don't worry, I'm going to rescue Ayako now. <gasps> As Jingu was about to save Ayako, she found out that Kara was already engulfed by the fire. Why you wouldn't just pull the kid out, set him to the side, and then pull her out? I don't know. Whatever. Ayako, you and Ka Kashin will need to leave first. Bring your most important things with you and leave the rest aside. Here's the key to your car. I'll meet you at Chikuo Station. Ayako, don't go out. Oh, she tried to use it to save. Mm, Sichi, take care. She tried to use it to save Ayako. Mm, interesting. Use Ninja. Why, why did it turn out this way? Ninja can't bring people back to life. You know that very well, don't you? <sighs> Yikes. Lost her only friend. Kashin Chan, have you packed your things? <laughs> I like remember the voice I was using midway through. I still have a few dolls. No need to take them. I'll buy them for you again. Mm, oh, why are we weaving this place? Kashin Chan, Papa has already finished his work here, so we need to leave this place. Don't you want to go to the seaside? We can go to Sapporo. Stay in a small house by the sea. And we'll be facing the sea such that once you open the window, you can see the seabirds flying above the sea. During the weekends, Papa will take us to play on the beach. Oh, I almost threw up. <clears throat> when you step on the soft sand, you will definitely find it very comfortable. Great. I want to live there soon, Kashin. Bye, Mama. You forgot that. The picture of Papa, Mama, and me is still hanging on the wall. Kashin Chan, I will take it now. So dark. <laughs> Jingu didn't try to stop Ayako again. She knew that the picture Ayako described had already become a bubble. This time in Shikanaki Village, hundreds of families were repeating this tragedy. She lamented that Ninja cannot change death. In the face of tragedy, Ninja cannot change anything. Yikes. Ayako. Kashin. Dark. Again. So fucking dark. Because Kihara-chan sustained heavy in injuries, she almost died back then. Kashin, hang in there. Please, you need to live. She can't be saved, just give up. Who said that? The fuck is- oh shit. Kashin, Ayato, Ayako told me she hoped you could grow up happily. Your life is only just beginning. I won't let you leave this world. Hey, what are you doing? Jingu, do you dare to transfer my power to this human? You know the price for doing this? Yeah, I have to talk through a notebook. Hoshin-sama, I have caused countless tragedies. For once, just this once, let me make amends for one tragedy. Jingu-sama, it's dangerous to stay here. Get out quick. Girl is still breathing. Where's the ambulance? So, Jingu transferred her powers of Hoshin to me. Jingu-sama, that accident victim has been sent to the hospital. It's very dangerous down here. Let's go back. I caused all of these a day in the projection room if I didn't ask you. Jingu-sama, I never saw you in the projection room before. Watanabe, Jingu-sama, always opposed the plan to build a factory. I took the liberty and signed the agreement. I'm responsible for it. No, what? Watanabe, it's my... Jingu-sama! You bitch, shut up! This is the first time I'm defying you after so many years. You have devoted your whole life to Shikanaki Village. Now you can rest. Jingu-sama, you love to tell stories, right? I've been listening to your stories since I was a kid. You also mentioned you wanted to write scripts and produce films. Go and write your scripts or books. Do anything you'd like. By then, all of us will support your movies. Don't worry. Chikanaki Village certainly can weather it. So, Jingu-sama, make use of the time you have left. Go and live your own life. Anabi. 
man. Brutal. Go and live your own life. These words sound so simple, but to Jingo it is not going to happen. In that moment when she walked to the altar, she could not have her own life. And her punishment for using God of Abundance's powers without thinking, God of Abundance stripped Jingu of her voice. Mm. God of Abundance wanted to issue orders with Jingu's voice, but with the economic bubble, Shikanaki Village's decline is irreversible. Young people have left Shikanaki Village and the elderly have passed away one by one. By lacking worshippers, God of Abundance has met the same fate as Aiko-sama. Nice. Jesus. Where am I now? Why didn't you... It's all your fault. Nobody will forgive... We gave our lives so that Shikanaki Village could prosper. But you ruined Shikanaki Village in one night. Nobody will forgive you. I'm sorry. Mm. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Damn. Brutal. Thank you. Huh? Heard you were the one who saved Caution. She is out of danger now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is that so great? Yikes. Winter of 1994, Jingu passed away. Damn. Rough. It's me and Ayako. And then it's probably going to be her and Caution. It doesn't seem that long since we last met. How time flies. You didn't change at all. Skin is still that silky. Look at me. Though I've been dead for years, some wrinkles still popped up around the corner of my eyes earlier. My eye fucking itches. Ayako, I'm sorry. Why are you saying sorry? I allowed the village headman to approve the factory's construction. If I didn't agree to it, none of this would have happened. I see. Kiritani, even if you didn't agree to it, the factory would still be built. Even if Siichi's negotiations failed, new companies would still rush in to negotiate. I will quote Siichi's words. This is the result of changing times. Changing times is a daunting catalyst. It makes buildings grow from fields. At the same time, they can also turn to ruins instantly. Nobody can resist this kind of force. So this is not your fault. You don't have to apologize to me. I have to thank you instead. Kiritani, thank you for saving Kashin. It's true. Save my daughter. Actually, I'm the one who should say thank you. All this while, I thought I could save the masses. When I looked back, I was just pleasing them with a deity's power. I hoped they would get closer to me and wouldn't treat me as an abnormal person. But the more I helped them, the more scared they were of my powers. After Caution was saved, Kihara-san kept saying something, realized the meaning of my existence for the first time. This feeling, this feeling is fantastic, but it's too late. It's not late. So I have unfulfilled wishes, don't you? You must be wondering why I know that. Because the look in your eyes is the same as Siichi's. It's that kind of look with a strong desire. When we first met, your eyes looked dull, but now they are different. They're sparkling. But I'm already... Kiritani, it's too early for you to come here. Others are paving the road for you to come here. Go and find your way back. It's your own road. My own road. I go, if that road truly exists, I'll try to find my... I try my best to find... Look for it. <laughs> as, as a seizure mid-sentence. I'll wait here until you come back. By that time, please tell me more stories about Kashin. Yeah, I mean, she did save our daughter, you know, and give up, like, her powers to save our daughter, so can't be that mad. Although God of Abundance is already in deep slumber, and most of that power is still in Kiara-chan's body. This power is quite likely to bring God of Abundance back to life at some point. In order to unleash this power, I have to sacrifice someone. I appeared in front of you. Why am I here again? What the fuck? Although my physical body had already turned to dust, pining for you enabled my soul to stay in this world, just like Ayazawa's son. I wanted to take back the power inside your body, but after that car accident, you left Kuramori Town. It took me several years to find you in Sapporo. After that, I brought your consciousness here with my remaining powers. The fuck? That's to say the notebook, Feather, Ninja, Projector. Yes. I lied to you from the beginning. You've walked into the trap I have set. Because Hoshin took away my voice, but only talked to you through the notebook. 
and the feather and projector in the theater are crucial items to unleash, unleash Hoshin's powers. When you first started the projector with Ninja, part of the power from Hoshin had already been drawn out. Power probably refused to leave the host, which caused disruptions in Ninja, and you passed out. You're saying my body still has that power from Hoshin? At first, I had intended to let you use the projector again and release the rest of that power. There's no need for that by now. After all the things we've experienced at the theater and your trust in me, I finally understood that you and I are different. I helped the villagers out of desire and inferiority. I was afraid the villagers would leave me out, so I kept giving w without any limits. I wanted to gain other people's recognition through my generosity. This kind of strong desire fed Hoshin. While you trusted me and helped the other yokai because you make your decisions by listening to your heart, so you're not destined to become Hoshin's puppet. Now, there is hardly any power left and it will gradually fade with time. Sorry about that, Kiara-chan. You trusted me, but I lied to you from the very beginning. But I didn't lie to you about that part as a writer of unsellable books. <laughs> Writing a book is much so much harder than assuming my role as Jingu. Uh, actually, you don't need to apologize, Kiritani. You gave me Hoshin's powers and saved me from the car accident. After losing, losing Hoshin's powers, I feel so relieved. Plus, this journey is very interesting. I made a lot of friends and experienced an adventure I wouldn't have dared to imagine previously. This adventure is so much fun, I'll definitely write it in my book. But when Hoshin's powers dissipate completely, I can't see the yokai anymore, right? That's right. You'll become a normal girl and get to know lots of human friends and fit in with them. I believe there are all types of people waiting in your future, Kyohara-chan. Kiritani, this journey is the most important memory of my life. I committed so many sins and even cheated you, Kiara-chan. In that case, how come it's still an important memory in your life? Kiritani, that Jingu who was once revered by the masses is dead. The person I know is a writer who loves to make up stories. She's always late in her manuscripts. Her books don't sell very sell well either. Could Kiritani Yuki, I'll always remember you. Thank you, Kiara-chan. I'm so lucky to meet you and your parents. Is that the train? train is coming. Once you step out of the store and board the train, you will go home. What are your plans after this? The dam will be built here next year. Shikanaki Village will be submerged in the water forever. Shikanaki Village is the place I have protected all my life, so I want to be with her until the very last moment. Once the dam is built, I'll travel around the world. Kara-chan, are you still inviting me to Sapporo? My first stop will be there. Mm. Kiritani, I will wait for you. I'll then see you, Kiara Chen. See you. Is that it? God, I'm fucking. Voice is gonna be tired from <laughs> doing the streamlike adventure has come to an end. Memories before I was eight year old are still incomplete. Those memories are probably lost forever. All the stories in this world are like that. Once experienced, you can never return to the past. Fair. Fair. All right, let's see. Uh, nice. So that was Tales of the Black Forest. Really good game. Really interesting. Um, super dark. Uh, all of it was kind of just a tale of, of grief and like how to deal with that grief how to deal with like past mistakes and and kind of the uh reality of of not necessarily i mean kind of like the human experience as things grow and change but um really powerful really cool really enjoyed it and uh might even do a bonus episode to see that other ending so stick around or check out that in the coming days but I'm going to see if there's anything after the credits. Uh, so I'll see you in just a minute after the credits. All right, here we are. You haven't had your dinner. Um, I got held up on... My buy some things on the way home. I still have work to do. You don't need to cook for me. 
Okay. This is... Oh, nice. It's that photo I found, or the drawing. How did you... Caution, where did you get this drawing? An acquaintance. No, a yokai who could draw gave it to me. I see. Caution, if you get the chance, help me to thank that yokai on my behalf. By the way, I accidentally saw the script for your presentation while looking for the photo frame. May I attend that presentation on reflections on the bubble era? Why are you suddenly interested in this? Presentation will start the day after tomorrow at night. Remember to be there 10 minutes earlier. In addition, the lecturer will use some technical terms. I can give you a book reading list. They cover the fundamentals and will help you to get acquainted. Okay. So I guess that helped strengthen my dad and I's bond. All our family and friends and online friends who have supported us. Thank you to our partner Sakura Game for assisting us with the translation, marketing, and operations. Thank you to all our friends who have provided financial support to the development of this game. Last but not least, thank you to all the players who have played this game. Hope you'll find this a beautiful adventure game worth cherishing. I did, actually. I really did. All right. That's it. Good job, y'all. Wait, what? That's not it. Fuck. <laughs> Caution, you bought so many books again. Finish reading the books you bought earlier? Hmm, I like those books very much, so I finished reading them in one go. Oh, you are a caution indeed. Uh, you're buying this book too? Seems this isn't the type you usually like, and I've never heard of this author called Kiritani Yuki. This author is a very important friend of mine. I see. Excuse me for being rude. Kuramori Katan, Strange Tales of the Black Forest. And Kobayashi Sin Sensei's Common Choso Roku, Case Files with that False Front. The total cost... Almost forgot. Here's the decryption card that comes with Common Chosa Roku. A lot of puzzles in this book. You can use the accompanying decryption card to solve the puzzles. Said that Kobayashi Sin Sensei invented this unique reading style. That's kind of cool, actually. I kind of fuck with that. Decryption card. It suddenly occurred to me that I've seen this card before in an office at Kuramori Chogekicho. Gumi-san said it was a unique decryption called card Terajima Ace Invented. Jamie Ishii Ishi is a follower of Shinrite and Goku and the mastermind behind the gas attack on the theater. Obayashi Sin Sensei. Is Terajima Ishii? What the fuck? Wait, what does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Alright, stick around for a bonus episode. <laughs> coming in a few days but thank y'all so much for joining me what a game so fun want to play more games like this hit me with the recommend recommendations down below in the comments love y'all so much and i will see you next time this has been tales of the black forest bye bye Mwah.